I did get a lot of work on Pleasant fan mail. Oh, really? From all over the country. If you hadn't been a woman, you couldn't have gotten away with that. Said uh, somebody would scratch it for that. <laughs> <laughs> Grace Thomas. She was the daughter of a streetcar conductor from Birmingham, Alabama. Fell in love with a student at Georgia Tech and moved to Atlanta to marry him. In order to support the family, she got a job as a secretary at the state capitol. She was a full-time wife, a full-time mom eventually, and a full-time secretary. But she got interested in politics and the law, and so she decided to go to law school at night. Now she was also a full-time law student. Finally, she graduated from law school to the relief of her family and shocked them by announcing that she was not gonna practice law. She was gonna run for political office. Oh, mama, they said, what are you gonna run for? Thinking school board or hospital board. But no, she said, I think I'll run for governor of Georgia. Do you consider yourself a pioneer? Well, in a way I am, because I'm the first one who ever ran for governor. There were nine candidates, eight men, and Grace Thomas. But there was only one issue. It was 1954, and Brown versus the Board of Education had just come from the Supreme Court. Eight of those candidates swore that Georgia ought to resist that Supreme Court decision with all its might. Only one, Grace Thomas, said it was the coming of justice. Did you have any favorite uh, slogans that you used? Well, yeah, my favorite one was Stay Gray. <laughs> Not many people did. She ran dead last. Her family was relieved she'd gotten it out of her system but she hadn't. Why did you run again in 62? You lost in 54, shouldn't that be enough? Well, they probably should have, but I thought maybe people had changed in that length of time. I might have still had a chance. This time the stakes were higher. The civil rights movement was beginning to take root. Georgians were uh, frightened and angry, many of them. There were death threats on Grace's life. One day, she took her campaign into the little town of Louisville, Georgia, where the centerpiece in the town is an old slave market where human beings were bought and sold. Grace decided she was going to give her speech under the canopy of that old market. She stood there addressing a little gaggle of farmers and merchants, and she pointed to the slave market and she said, by the grace of God, this is gone and passed. And it's time now for Georgians of all races to join hands and work together. Somebody in the crowd called out, are you a communist? No, she said. Well, where'd you get those blankety blank ideas? And she thought for a minute, and then she pointed to the steeple of a nearby church and said, I got him over there in Sunday school. 